All right, let's talk about another name that we discussed quite a bit this morning. That is Spotify. Shares are under just a little bit of pressure this morning after their latest report. A slight miss, actually, here on the top line for Spotify. Also, or rather, a, more, a narrower than expected loss. So a beat there um, on the bottom line. But really, Ozzy, the story here is about listening hours and what's happening with the company's uh, investment in the podcast space, right? And and that has been significant over the last couple of years. They called out the strength they're seeing in Joe Rogan. They've got the Obama Springsteen podcast on there with the mention. Um, but shares under pressure off about 8% here. Yeah, and I know I'll quickly run down the numbers here because I know you want to maybe perhaps take me to task for my views on podcasts. You know, we were just tweeting about this this morning. But nonetheless, I think we're already seeing Spotify, the sell-off accelerate here in the pre-market. Total monthly active users, 365 million, up 24% year over year, but below Spotify's internal expectations. Also, the premium avenue, uh, average revenue per user, or the metric that is referred to as ARPU, down 7% year over year. And I think you know, these are not necessarily bad numbers for Spotify. They did beat a lot of their estimates in other areas in the quarter. But again, this is another tech stock that has been priced for perfection. And perhaps there was a couple holes in the quarter. Also, uh, CEO and founder Daniel Eck mentioning uh, in prepared marks on their conference call, a little bit of a slowdown uh, in some emerging markets during the quarter. So something uh, to pay attention to. I just wonder, you know, when it comes to podcasts, I have to wonder about the ROI, right? 2.6 million podcasts? What? Like, how much is that costing the company if only a quarter of all of their premium users are actually listening to the things? Like, why make such an enormous investment, especially when how much of that traffic does Rogan account for alone? You know, I just I'm just confused by that strategy. Well, I think um, I think the thing with podcasts is uh, and Spotify has, has been clear on this for a number of years now. It seems superficially like an oversaturated market. How many podcasts could there possibly be? How many people are out there listening to podcasts? But if you look at what Spotify's done with Anchor, which means the three of us could, I could open the app and three of us could start recording a podcast right now, put it up to Spotify. Boom, there you go. 2.6001 million podcasts now are, are out there on the platform. This week, they also announced they're going to make it easier for folks on the platform to monetize their podcast. And I think they've been clear about the strategy and we can debate whether it's going to work. And I think the street this morning is having its questions about it. But the average or like the overall listening time, the amount of time you're spending on the app is going to increase and does increase for its podcast users. People who listen to podcasts in general spend more time on Spotify in general than people who do not. And Sazi, I think the reason that I, I took your comment this morning, which was, you know, when they have 2.6 million podcasts, you think I listen to two and a half million of them. There's still this <laughs> weird view that people who listen to podcasts are like always listening to podcasts. That's all they do is listen to podcasts. Like I don't regularly listen to more than a couple. And it's basically just a replacement for the sports talk radio I listened to when I was a kid you know, you know, WFAN. I mean, like it's basically just a replacement for that because I use Spotify to fill my idle time or when I need a distraction and I don't really want to pay attention to something. So I think that they view podcasting as, I mean, they talk about ear share and they talk about the whole market opportunity is all of audio. Anything that is audio is their market. So I think that's the strategy. Again, Street This Morning is doubting it, but um, I don't think it's so crazy, I guess. To, to be to be going all in on podcasting, especially when it's a different kind of relationship with the content creator than it is dealing with a record label. We all know that. So one and a half million a day, not two and a half. Sure. You can use one and a half, one and a half million a day is the number of podcasts I'm listening to. <laughs>